I started to go captain way back in 71. So I've been a captain for a long time. A friend of mine had just gotten married that had been scout fishing in Lunenburg and he coaxed me into coming back with him to help drive his car back. So I said, I'll come back, help drive the car back, make one trip, and then I'm going home. But I'm still here. Well, I guess it's in my family history. Originally it wasn't. I went to college to study forestry, but there's not many trees on George's Bank, so uh, I, I stuck with my family, family tradition and uh, became a fisherman. I've been a captain for a relatively short time. I'm on my fourth year now. Uh, I was a mate for three to four years before that. And uh, prior to that, I worked for a small company just up the harbor here for 18 years, actually, with, with one company. And uh, then I came with Clearwater, and I've been here ever since. When I was 15, I was smarter than most. I, I, uh, I, I knew as much as everybody else did, and I went to sea, working way up from deckhand to a captain at the age of 27. I love being on the water, being out there and the fresh air, nobody around. I've seen a lot of changes in this industry over the years. I remember back when we had no dump decks, when we had to scratch and claw on deck, shovel all the debris overboard, carry the skulls back in baskets and shock by hand. That was a hard job. Today things are much different with the innovation of the new vessels and the way that we do it on deck are much safer. With the introduction over the last few years of bottom imaging, we can tell what the bottom looks like. It's just like driving through a city street. We, we, we know what areas to target, and every piece of the bottom is made up of a certain strata. So you only target those stratas where you know the, the, the biggest abundance of scallops are. Today, as you can see, one of the examples is the vessel behind us. Those are the, this is the kind of vessel we're fishing today in the industry. They're, they're floating factories. We're working right now with uh, very modern and sophisticated vessels. And uh, with the technology that we have on board, it, it enables us to fish in a way that is least harmful to the environment, but at the same time have a high yield of, of productivity in our catch. We tow two dredges uh, for the scallops, uh, two 15-foot wide rakes, we call them. Um, we tow them on the bottom uh, for approximately anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes, sometimes maybe 25 minutes. When the dredges are hauled back, the scallops are dumped onto the deck uh, into a sorting area where crew members sort through the scallops to, uh, to remove the desired sizes and, uh, and remove any rocks or debris that we don't want. From there, the scallops are delivered down to the next level, which is our, our factory level of the ship, and, uh, and processed by the remainder of the crew. I think customers are more informed now than they've ever been, and their access to information is almost instantaneous. Um, and they really want to know where their food comes from, where it's harvested, how it's produced, and how it gets to their plate. Uh, and so part of that story is a sustainability story. They want to feel good about what they're eating. They want to make sure that they're contributing to solutions and not problems. And the MSC logo allows us to clearly communicate that um, in our fishery products. It also allows us to tell the consumer that they're making the right choice uh, and that they can have faith that this fishery is being persecuted in a sustainable way. Sustainability is really important to me because it, it guarantees the future of the fishing industry. I have a son that's, that's getting into the fishing industry now. I want it left for him. And I want it left for any children that he might have so that everybody coming up can have a job in the future.